Let's see, let's see. What are we at? What are we at? And there we are. Nice. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is May 29th, 2022. And we're in the live stream in the patio. We're set. It's patio season. Uh, I've been working on the patio for the last couple of weekends. Actually, more than that, I guess. Every weekend, I clean it up a little bit and stuff like this. And we did a little bit of planting. And uh, we still have some cuttings, uh, seedlings, I guess, uh, that we need to plant. We're going to do a little bit more back there and whatnot. Um, but basically, this kicks off our uh, patio live streaming season. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it very much so very much so uh, it's it's been a long uh, winter in Canada sort of wet it's cold it's been cold so uh, it's nice seeing the Sun come out and whatnot um, so we're gonna enjoy the patio a little bit uh, we got a lot of greens planted uh, but we'll go through uh, some of the seedlings and stuff uh, some of the work we've done here uh, once people start rolling in sunny patio stream number one of 2022 <laughs> nice oh my god cheryl how are you doing are you enjoying your garden yet oh my god it's been a it's been fun getting it uh, getting it all set up it's been fun getting it all set up super fun super fun uh, and it's nice once it's set up it's ready to be worked in right because it takes a coming out of the fall and winter in uh in our part of the world anyway uh, we get a wet winter so leaves we got a lot of oak trees and stuff like this so there's lots of leaves falling down and you're constantly cleaning it and stuff like this and then in springtime when it hits you give it a nice one final go when all the leaves are gone from the trees and the fresh ones are coming up you get a you get a one you give it a once go over get rid of the mulch and stuff and empty the pots that have excess leaves and stuff like this uh, and once you do that it's a working environment and then put a little bit of time put a little bit of time put a little bit of time right fantastic good for the body good for the body hope you guys are doing well uh, i wouldn't picked up a cigar this morning <laughs> i wasn't sure if i was going to smoke a cigar but i wouldn't have booked up uh bolivar or royal corona uh, this is my two go-to cigar right now not that I'm smoking a lot, but if I can't think of anything, that's what we're doing. Jew Manhat, how are you doing? Salute, salute. I'm just sipping a little bit of tequila right now. Okay, just a little bit of tequila. I wasn't sure what I felt like. I brought some vodka, I brought tequila, I brought some liqueur. Uh, the green makes me so relaxed. Yeah, me too, brother. Me too. Birdie here, how are you doing? What's good, man? Tequila is very good. <laughs> Bonjour, bonjour, Facet. How are you doing? I got it on. I got some ice as well. I think I'm gonna have it on the rocks. Neat is sweet. Neat is very good, but because it's sunny out, I feel like having a summer uh, patio. Uh, I think I wanna drink on the rocks. Finish, dude. How are you doing? Hey, I'm just watching Finland versus Canada hockey nights. Are we kicking your ass? <laughs> What's the score? Are we winning? Is Canada winning? Or or Finland? The Finnish dude. Are you are you kicking our ass? Papa is he 87? How are you doing, Chicho brother? It's been too long. How you feeling, bro? Summertime. Well, end of spring, summertime coming, birds are chirping, greens are popping. Uh, doing pretty good, man. Doing pretty good. Uh, liking it, liking it. Lots of chaos to deal with in the world, but it's nice to do it in a nice environment where you can calm down with it, right? Do you like rum? Ah, yeah, I've gone through rum periods. Uh, I've reduced the amount of rum. I like Cuban rum. Cuban, there's nothing like Cuban rum. No, I'm sorry, there's nothing like Cuban rum. I don't, I don't know what people, what people are dreaming about. Uh, sure, Jamaican rum is good and stuff like this, but man, that sugar cane from Cuba, there's nothing like Cuban rum, especially, especially the older stock, right? Amazing, and the street stuff you can buy, which is like nasty, but it goes good with uh, with some black pop, some cola. 
Uh, Voidhook, I miss your streams. Let's go. Nonetheless, awesome, Voidhook. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. 2 3 for Finland. Oh no, we're gonna come back at the end and destroy, destroy Birdie here. How often do you smoke? Not often. Like, here, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, like, how often I smoke cigars, right? I used to smoke often. Really, I used to smoke often. Uh, I would. In the 90s, I would go to Cuba, come back with multiple boxes and have a like a large humidor. And there's times I was smoking two, three big cigars a day. And it was too much, right? So I reduced it. I've gone seasonal, right? So I hadn't gone to the cigar store. The last cigar I smoked, I think, is with you guys live stream. We did like end of summer, last summer, right? So I hadn't been to the cigar store for about eight months now, right? And I went to the cigar store and I was... I wasn't sure this morning I won't pick one up, right? I wasn't sure what I was going to get, right? But check this out. I picked out uh, Boulevard Royal Corona again, right? A beautiful cigar, really beautiful cigar, right? So this is my two go-to cigar. I have, I have, you know, a few to go-to cigars, I guess. But when I want strong, when I want kick, when I want power, Boulevard Royal Corona, okay? But I went there and I was looking for it. I, I mean, I had it in mind, but I was sort of browsing to see what else would hit my, hit my face, right? You know, what else would catch my eyes, hit my face, catch my eyes, right? So I was looking around and I'm looking at the cigars and there's a lot of this brand. Check this out. There's a lot of cigars with this brand on it, like this label on it, like this black, brown, green. I don't know what this is, this label on it, right? And I'm looking around, I'm going, I don't know, I don't know the cigar. So, you know, nothing else is catching my eye. I was thinking about picking up a couple of smaller Coronas. Small, because I'm working in the yard today. You know, put a small cigar in your mouth and smoke away and work away, right? So, nothing popped my, you know, caught my eye, right? Because they're all this. I'm like, who is this brand? Wow, this must be some crazy brand. <laughs> they got multiple, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars. They set up tons of factories and they're bringing out cigars, right? And I said, okay, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take, you know, usual Royal Corona, um, Boulevard Royal Corona. So the guy goes to where I'm almost at and he opens a thing. I go, I'm looking, where's the Royal Corona? And he picks out this and he goes, this is what he tells me. I didn't know about this. This is how idiotic bureaucracy is. This is this is this is what happens when governments go too far, when bureau bureaucrats decide how society should function, how what people should think. It's insane, right? So he pulls this out. I go, a Boulevard Royal Corona. He goes, yeah. I go, what what happened with the label? He goes, oh, Canadian government put out a new regulation a few months ago, right? A few months ago. <laughs> What's the snack today? Uh, so, uh, uh, olives soaked in uh, water, right? Soaked in water, olives, and they're uh, not olives, olives, almonds, right? So these have been soaked in water, and you can freeze these, by the way. So I soak a whole bunch of almonds in water, right? Let them sit for two, three, four days, or whatever it is, and whatever we don't eat, we can freeze. And then when you want to unthaw them, you put it in a bowl, right? Pour hot water on it and it thaws and then the skin check this out right the skin is really to come easy to come off right it just peels off right and you just pop this it's easier to digest right and you're not eating the skin the skin i don't know i'm pretty sure it has nutrients but it's it's easier on the tummy if you got if you've got issues with nuts it's not a bad way to try it out maybe you won't have issues with nuts right so the guy says, it's a new regulation the Canadian government put out that every cigar has to come with a generic label, right? So in Cuba, at the factories, they're putting these labels on the cigars. I go, oh, really? That's, I use a different word than crazy, but <laughs> that's idiotic, <laughs> you know? And he goes, yeah, and then all you do, you pull this out and the old label is on it, right? Because if you're smoking a cigar labels are important this is the brand that you like just imagine going to a grocery store and everything has a generic label on it right everything right how 
how hard is it going to be to shop? Right? Because no one stands out and you can't identify with what you like. You got to read it all, right? I came back home, told my partner, man, if I had a lot of money, I'd sue the Canadian government. Tell them they're being bigoted. They're being racist against people who are illiterate. Because if you can't read, you can't pick out a cigar. You don't know, right? And if you don't have good eyes, you can't read this behind the count, like behind <laughs> the shop. Like, where's, where's the boulevard, man? <laughs> like what right so that's how i often smoke cigars right if um you know long way to answer your question it's been a few months since i went to the cigar store to pick up a cigar okay but we're gonna smoke this today we're gonna smoke this i'm just gonna get caught up with chat gang first time chat hello hello it's so posh is it hard to grow tobacco a uh, bamboo no 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 bamboo is like weed all you need is some bamboo and then you can have lots of bamboo you just got to put it into the ground and let it propagate. Be careful with bamboo, though. You don't plant bamboo near houses, like right against the wall, because that bamboo roots, the bamboo propagates like weed. The roots can go deep and they go into the piping of the house and stuff like this. So if you're buying a house, if you see a house that's got lots of bamboo along the side of the house, right, against the wall, the odds are uh, that house has piping issues, right? So be careful with that. Okay. Uh, don't quote me on this, but look into it. Lions, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome to another live stream. Damn straight, rum goes well with God. <laughs> rum goes. Rum is delicious, man. But I want. Oh yeah, the rum question. I I reduced the amount of rum I was drinking a long time ago because of the high sugar content. It it's very sugar heavy, rum. Very sugar heavy. So, hence. The next morning could be devastating, right? Two minutes left in three three. Oh, three three, finished, dude. Oh, we're we're brothers, Canada and Finland. When it comes to hockey, <laughs> I say tie is good. We break even. Hi, Chad and Chicho. Hello, hello, Plutorana, Plutorino. Beat, how are you doing? What's the snack for today? That was the almonds. Lions, that's the same here in Ireland. All tobacco products have that brown green color. It's deemed the least attractive color to humans. So it's designed to deter people from purchasing tobacco products. That's the thought process over here anyway. Man, is, is, is this supposed to be the most unappealing color? Is it? Huh. Didn't know that. Why goes the government want all cigars to have the same label? Uh, to make it less attractive for people to smoke. I asked the person, the, the guy goes, the guy who's working there, he goes, maybe so kids can't buy it. I go, what kind of, but by the way, there's laws against kids going into a cigar store, right? You can't, kid can't go into a tobacco shop and buy tobacco, like it's done. I go, but kids can't, what kind of kid comes into a cigar store and buys, <laughs> buys cigars? And the guy laughs and he goes, maybe rich kids. <laughs> Now you know who the government's working for. <laughs> Fascinating, Chicho. I just bought House of Slaughter. Sla uh, bought House of Slaughter 1 to 5 on eBay. No way. They are the guys that did uh, Something is Killing the Children. Uh, here in James Tillian, Tyr Tyrion the Fourth. Yeah, James, by James Tyrion the Fourth from Boom uh, Comics. So excited to read them, dude. I love that guy. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, Something is killing the children. I read one issue. I didn't pick it up from the get-go. I should have. I was, I was being silly. Um, but I did pick up House of Slaughter. Um, did I pick up House of Slaughter? I don't know. I picked up something else from him. But I haven't been picking up... Uh, no, no. I didn't pick up House of Slaughter because I closed my poll list since then. All right? House of Slaughter came out, uh, I think, a few weeks after I, I stopped pulling comics because... I wasn't allowed in there. It was one of the undesirables because I wasn't wearing a face diaper, right? Cheryl, bamboo will take over in no time. Bamboo will take over in no time. Yeah. There is a way to manage it, though, Cheryl, from what I understand. Crafter, how are you doing? Gaming goods. You watched the new Obi-Wan Kenobi or Stranger Things? I watched the first episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi. The, it's hilarious. I went to IMDb. The, uh, the previous, like, Boba Fett, I'm sorry, gang. Piece of shit series. Um... Mandalorian started off good, went dark, went stupid fast. 
Okay. No, no, sorry. Boba Fett started off good, went stupid halfway through. Mandalorian, garbage. Really, I didn't like it. Other than the sets and stuff, just I didn't like it. The dialogue was idiotic. Okay. And then I went to I went and read the reviews for uh, uh, Obi Wan. Right. I went to IMDb and the rating is like eight point six. I'm like, oh, man, it's got eight point six. I don't know about this. I think Mandalorian had like nine, and I hated it. It was garbage. Uh, and then I read the reviews on IMDb. If you want to have a good laugh, right? Find a movie that you like or that's controversial and read the reviews on IMDb. Hilarious, hilarious. The reviews, the written reviews, they were giving it like one, two, three, four at best out of ten. Like they were trashing it. Oh, Disney does it again. There was a, there's a something B, uh, Babylon B uh, spoof where it shows George Lucas. <laughs> George, it says George Lucas takes up a billboard beside Obi Wan billboard, laughing, saying, "Do you miss me yet?" <laughs> and then I read the reviews on IMDb, <laughs> and it was just trash talking it. So I had to watch it. I watched the first episode. First episode, it's not a eight point six or eight point yeah eight point six I think I IMDb, and it's not a one <laughs> that the written reviews are giving. So far, with one episode watched. Obi Wan Kenobi, I'd say, is on the same level as Boba Fett number one. It shows promise, but I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. And after watching the first episode, I asked my partner, "Do you want to watch the second one?" She said, "Hell no." Or no, let's watch Food Wars and Gang. You want to watch an amazing series? Food Wars, Food Wars, Food Wars. Okay, it's an anime series about a school. Culinary school, where kids go or chefs go to graduate from the school, diploma from the school for cooking, and there's food wars, cooking wars, and stuff like this, and it's amazing. What a great series! And there's five seasons out there. We finished season one, and we're on season two, and it's fantastic. That's my little rant for now. Rendell, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Appreciate it. How many months in a row? 34 months in a row. Boop. <laughs> Moon Sage X. That's dumb of the Canadian government. Just don't buy the uh, cigars if you don't want them. Censoring the label is the, it's that's what bureaucrats do. Bureaucracy in our society is the enemy of humanity. End of story. I watched Top Gun 2 last night. I tried to use nostalgic memories from 1986 original to get you invested in the cardboard cut I was trying to act. It failed to me. Yeah, I, there's no way I would watch the Top Gun or Top Gun 2. Even though I liked Top Gun at the time when it came out. Lions. That's a very hot take calling uh, Mando garbage. Jeez. <laughs> the, look. It just it was it's made for children right uh, so unfortunate like fortunate and unfortunate like for example one of the scenes from the Mandalorian which is garbage like it's it's just it's just so idiotic that I, I just couldn't watch it past this point that was the last episode I watched where that robot bounty hunter came in uh, to the like a cowboy town there was and he was trying to this was a while ago when I watched it right he was looking after someone and he's shooting up the place so he's standing in the middle of the road or whatever open space and all these pirates or gangsters or thieves are all coming out and he's shooting them all up like he's shooting them all up right and the Mandalorian is hiding there Mandalorian runs out and goes hey buddy <laughs> like in the middle of a gunfight this supposedly brilliant bounty hunter assassin or runs out in the middle of a gunfight and goes hey buddy i forget what the guy's name is right hey buddy and the guy shoots him boom shoots the mandalorian right and there was a whole dialogue about that it was idiotic i couldn't watch it past that i'm sorry lions not anybody else that loved it by the way i got into an argument with a guy at a comic book store uh, that works there about the mandalorian uh he loved it 
<laughs> I told them why I didn't like it. <laughs> Crafter, today was some big event in my birth city. Only happens once every 10 years. Quite sad that I'll have to wait another 10. Oh, what is it? Facet, Boba Fett was shit. As was Mandalorian. Oh, Facet, I love you. You're one of the few people, other than my partner, that I know that thought it was shit. Actually, you're the only person. Everyone else thought it was great. I'm like, eh. I agree with you. Facet, yeah, was shit. <laughs> the, the new Batman song falls too. No, I like the new Batman. The new Batman I liked. I disagree with you there, Facet. And I allowed your comment, the Automod zapped it. Now, Rendell says, I enjoyed Mandalorian and Boba Fett, but I'm not a big Star Wars fan. Yeah. It, it, I didn't like it, Rendell. Yeah. I, there's so much potential in for Star Wars universe. And nah, they're butchering it. That said, the sets are amazing. I love the sets. Has it changed what he said? I'm gonna cut it with a cutter. I'm cut. I'm cutting it with a cutter, gang. Wet it a little. Give it a cut. Give it a nice cut. Right. Boop. Okay. Give it a nice cut. Right. Get this. I give it a heavy cut. By the way, I didn't poke a hole in it. I give it a he heavy cut, just because I want a heavy smoke. Star Trek Strange New Worlds is helping me lose weight. I haven't vomited so much in my life yet. We watched the first two episodes. I can't get myself to watch another one. Elder God. Uh, horrendous. Horrendous. I cannot believe they're butchering two amazing science fiction universes. I can't believe it. And this smells so good. First cigar of the new year. Tell you the truth, it's a little dry. It's a little dry, but it will become better. It will become better. Salute, gang. Cheryl says, I like so far. Star Wars uh, Strange New Worlds. It has, it's not vomit inducing. The previous two Star Wars series, the last two that came out, vomit inducing this one's better than that one the one with the with the black girl with the dreadlocks i watched the first season of that uh, what's it called star wars something what a horrendous series i couldn't watch it after the first season it was just like oh my god nets in four good afternoon to you as well birdie here is it cake is it is it cake? Is it great? What? <laughs> Joe Chicho, I'm currently watching a comedy series called Silicon Valley. Oh, I saw it. I, I haven't watched it, but I saw it advertised. Silicon Valley. It follows a group of friends who built a startup company in Palo Alto and have to try and survive in Silicon Valley. I really recommend if you're interested in tech and business. It, you know what? It, it piqued my attention, but I'm, I'm so disgusted with Silicon Valley and the technocrats that I really don't want to see anything associated with them. Uh, so that's why I haven't, you know, sampled it online. Uh, but it looked interesting, Joe. Thank you for the recommendation, by the way. It looked interesting, but I really can't handle any technocrats right now. Anyone, any people in the tech industry that are just uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> really, they're gross. You, you guys have my word. Okay, you guys have my word. If I ever form a really large company and I'm going to hire someone okay or hire a bunch of people anybody who in their resume has worked you know decides to
the size to oh yeah this is the tequila the size to apply that i have they have worked for uh technocratic sites during the period of censorship and promoted it and worked towards censorship they will never get a job with this thing's beautiful by the way beautiful is really nice Just imagine if Canadian government would have it, this label you wouldn't be able to see and you would have a disgusting green label on <laughs> the bottle to prevent people from drinking. <laughs> Bureaucrats sure are intelligent. <laughs> Bureaucracy. Uh, Finnegan Fox have you watched Sn Slow Horses with Gary Oldman no I didn't even know Gary Oldman was in a TV series I like Gary Oldman he's a fantastic actor but no I don't know Slow Horses I haven't even heard of it Salute gang fantastic fantastic together Lions, that's fair enough. I think it's a fun series. Might, might not be a cinematic or dramatic masterpiece, but it's a dumb fun show. It, if you're if you're into just shutting the brain off and just enjoying it with kids, like if I had kids, if I was around kids, I would watch it with them because the kids get a joy out of something that you might find a lot of flaws in, all right? And that's uh, it's intoxicating, right? It. It, it makes you get rid of your prejudices and your your dislikes and your uh, what do you call it uh, jadedness and appreciate something for what it is right <laughs> gaming good Tokyo Reven uh, Revengers is a good anime you watch it yet no no I don't know it I haven't heard about it gaming goods Tokyo Revengers? No, I don't know it. If you're on our Gilded page, gang. Oh yeah, I didn't even do an intro. It's okay. We can skip the intro. If you're on our Gilded page, uh, link it up for us in our anime folder. That'd be fantastic. Okay, that would be fantastic. Uh, I got five. We got four more seasons of Food Wars to go through. Uh, itchy, itchy anime. Elder God, they are trying to destroy all my childhood heroes. Being woke to death is a fate unfit for my heroes. <laughs> I just imagine if they try to woke Bruce Lee, they they recut Bruce Lee or something. Old footage comes out. Here's a woke Bruce Lee movie. Enter the Dragon, woke style. <laughs> What's your style? My style <laughs> is the art of fighting without being awake. Uh, thanks for allowing facet i just thought batman had gone too far however the joker was awesome the jokers the joker was really good nets and for chicho do you have any philosophy political books that you would recommend any philosophy political books political books yeah uh philosophy books I think for me the best philosophy writer I've read because it's the one I've read the most of and I've probably read books from others as well but um, but one that really resonated with me is C.S. Lewis I would recommend reading C.S. Lewis in terms of philosophy okay um, contemporary philosophy or philosophy right contemporary times I guess uh, C.S. Lewis phenomenal phenomenal um, he has other things than philosophy um, in terms of political books uh, Gore Vidal uh, Perpetual War Perpetual Peace um, Days of Destruction Days of Revolt by Chris Hedges and Joe Sacco mm. 
uh, those are two you start there you'll find more right Eduardo salute cigar with a goatee Share an email with <laughs> cigar with a beard. Chicho, uh, beat Chicho. What do you think of Jordan Peterson? He's okay. He's okay. I don't agree with everything he says, um, but he's he's um, like I, I do listen to some of his stuff. I come across. I don't actively seek out what he has to say because I pretty much know what it, you know. I'm in the same mindset as him regarding censorship, government. And, uh, Mandy, like all this crap, right? But I disagree with him on certain other philosophies, with certain other things I heard him say. I don't think he, uh, his argument held up in certain situations, and I think he's got a valid argument in other situations. Uh, but for sure, uh, I think people should check him out, especially these interviews with some people. Uh, Birdie here, are cigar not as bad for you as cigarettes yeah they're not well this is not health advice but uh, cuban cigars they don't use any pesticides at all organic and it's 100 percent tobacco there isn't any chemicals right it's just cured tobacco and you don't inhale cigars and in general you shouldn't smoke cigars on a daily basis i think you know, things in moderation are okay right but be careful tobacco can be addictive But cigarettes, yeah, cigarettes are nasty, man. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Rendell, so better, but not good. It's not healthy, at least. It's not healthy. It's not healthy, gang. Uh, well, hold on. Let, let's let's paraphrase this, uh, Rendell. Physically, or in terms of what you're consuming, it may it is not healthy, right? However. Tobacco has been a spiritual ally to many indigenous tribes, especially in the Americas, right? I think, I believe tobacco came from North America, Mexico, Canada, United States, right? Has been used in ceremonies for millennia, okay? And the health benefits of relaxing and participating in discussion because when you enter a cigar lounge and when people get together and focus on one thing that brings them together I don't care if it's politics economics religion family cigars drinks whatever pool games whatever it is there's a certain amount of healing that goes on right common odd common 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 dog <laughs> I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> Say it right now, right? So there's a certain amount of healing there. There's a certain amount of health benefits there because the number one killer in our society is stress. That's my belief. Joe Chicho, uh, in a lot of ways, it's a criticism of a lot of the culture in Silicon Valley and the business world. Okay. I might, I might give it a shot. I might give it a But right now, man, I, I want to watch, Joe, I want to watch things that are not related to the people that are consuming um, my time in regards to politics and economics. So when I, out, when I step outside of politics economic, and, and economics in general, I want to consume um, entertainment that is outside those two genres, right? That being said, I just finished season four of Ozarks or Ozark fantastic series fantastic series about economics politics uh, and the gangster world a really good series I liked it Uh, isn't cigar a whiskey man? Uh, cigar, cigar is uh, cigar and foods go amazing together. Like one of the snacks, one of the other snacks I have is ginger, uh, crystallized ginger. Well, it's not crystallized; it's sugar-coated ginger snack. I brought that just in case I felt like having it. Right? But c cigars go well with uh, foods and drinks. 
one of the reasons I believe I've heard is uh, because you have cigar in your mouth it fools the body because it's good f it fools the bar body into f uh, kicking into the digestive enzymes right so you want to eat something in general a snack on something if you're smoking or whatnot like a lot of smokers cigarette smokers would love to have a cigarette after a meal why right they might not know this but it's because it tells their body to kick in the digestive that's my understanding of it uh, digestive juices I guess okay spy horses is a funny uh, funny British spy thriller okay lions I think it's good to have have shows to watch that are engaging and well uh, made as uh, well as dumb fun dumb fun uh, shows to watch uh, to just switch off yeah I agree I agree I lost that head on the cigar videos oh elder god thank you <laughs> burnt down the movie studios all the god says okay gang i'm gonna let me see how many people are in the are in the live stream oh okay we're we're okay we're not that bad so i can catch i should be able to catch up with the with the chat uh gaming good star wars the bat the bad batch just dropped the season reveal trailer about an hour ago i like season one uh, some slow episodes but good you know what Star Wars the Bad Batch I lay I, I didn't mind that that was pretty good the anime series we are talking about gaming uh, gaming good right uh, gaming goods uh, yeah I've been watching Star Wars the Bad Batch uh, the clones that are sort of the defects right uh, I enjoyed it I enjoyed it, it was some -ish, some episodes that weren't that good but uh, better than Mandalorian or Boba Fett no doubt no doubt Bakuldara how you doing any favorite documentaries on life of plant on life of yeah David uh, Attenborough's life of plants the one of the best documentaries you'll ever watch regarding plants is David Attenborough's the life of plants I think it's five uh, five I can't remember how many it is I've watched it twice I don't know if it's two seasons or five episodes I can't remember now but very good life of plants Attenborough amazing what do you think of Ricky Jarvis he is getting some backlash at the moment from his latest Netflix stand-up show uh, birdie here uh, uh, he, he's okay he was okay with me I like what he did at the Academy Awards trash talk Hollywood and said oh, you guys are fucking pedophiles right you pieces of shit but he did it in a comedic format right but I don't really follow his work however however as soon as I heard the woke crowd is freaking out over his a Netflix episode I sampled it online I got it on on the computer I watched a few minutes uh, I watched a couple of stuff online streaming and I plan on watching it hell yeah he's got my full support uh, awesome I'm a I'm a I'm a Ricky Jarvis fan. <laughs> Anybody that stands up to tyranny and the woke crowd and the leftoids and the people who are bringing in dictatorship, fascism, communism, totalitarianism, taking away freedom of humanity because they have some kind of ideology that is backed by the World Economic Forum and the globalist. Anybody that opposes that shit, I'm a fan. Right? by the way gang this video so far is going to be loaded on <laughs> bitch sensor to bitch you rumble and Odyssey. thank you for the follows gang if i'm missing the founding found something uh so this video so far is going to be loaded on sensor to bitch you rumble and odyssey though in this video in its entirety will be loaded on bitch you rumble and odyssey okay however if we get into the discussion because we're smoking a cigar anything goes we're allowed to talk about anything yeah? so far we're 
we should be okay on sensor two. However, hey, there we go. However, if we get into any discussion that we cannot load on sensor two because we can't load everything on sensor two, you can find the full live stream on Recruit Rumble. and Odyssey. For those of you who want to follow this work, you can follow this work on Patreon, you can follow it on Subscribestar, you can follow it on Substack. Links will be in the description of most of my videos. Okay, for those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon gang, thank you very much for the support. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do what it is that we're doing, which is sometimes complicated to explain to people. But for those of you who've been there for a while, I know you understand. And I thank you for your support. As well as the support we're getting on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live. C H Y C H O L I V E. This is where we are live streaming for now. And at some point, we will be live streaming on Rumble as well. I do announce that live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Minds, VKK, App, Partly Getter, and BitCloud. And we'll see what other platforms we go on. For live streams where we don't have any visuals, we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com as a podcast, and we do have a gilded server. You're welcome to join us there. I think this is the longest version, uh, longest wait we ever had to do our little intro, but it was a good time to do. I like Secrets of Living Plants by Chris Pakman. I haven't seen that one. Not really pure, uh, purely about plants, but ecosystems and uh, symbiosis that exists in between. Cool facet. Man, I love watching your streams. Kids in bed, wife's asleep, crack open the tequila and chill. <laughs> That's not what <laughs> nice facet. Salute, salute to everyone. Salute, salute. Elder God sharing a quote, what's the point of living if you don't feel alive? End quote. First time chat, Professor Marx. <laughs> Jordan Peterson has, wants to talk to you. <laughs> Rendell. I smoke cigars on a monthly basis and it gives me great pleasure but it's not physically healthy per se. Yeah, I agree with Rendell. It's not physically healthy. The mental health aspect of it, if you really enjoy it and you do things in moderation, um, physically not healthy, but our mental state is very important. Very important. Lions, right, I have to leave. Have to pack for a holiday to the Canaries tomorrow. Nice. Enjoy the smoke, Chicho and gang. Sweet. Lions, enjoy your vacation at the Canary Islands. Very nice. Very nice. Joe Chicho, after what happened in Texas, what do you think is the best way to tackle mass shootings in America? Gang, regarding mass shootings in the United States of America, I think there needs to be serious scientific study, data analysis done on how many of these mass shooters are in pharmaceuticals and which pharmaceuticals and see if there's a correlation. And then the study has to go further and see if there's a causation of people being on pharmaceuticals and going on mass shooting sprees or even committing suicide or even killing others right so I think this has to be a multi-year process where we take a look at all the data of all the murders that have taken place in the United States specifically because from what I understand the United States is the largest pharmaceutical consumer in the world per capita okay and we should see if there's a correlation between murders killings shootings robberies rapes, violation of other people's rights and pharmaceuticals and then we do a correlation we do a study to see if there's causation to this correlation exists I've already looked at it but a lot of people haven't looked at it right so maybe the 
let's do a full official study to see if there's correlation. I can tell you there's correlation, right? If I was running the show, I would say we already know there's correlation. Let's see what the causation is, right? But there should be a multi-billion dollar study put in. Fast track the damn thing, right? Just the same way you fast track experimental shit into the mandate into populations and see if there's causation if there is hold the people accountable Rendell I finished the last cigar in my box last week highly recommend Rocky Pate Rocky Pate Rendell where is it from Honduras Dominican where is it from Rocky Rocky Pate Rendell link it up for us in our discord page under I don't know what under recommendations do we have a recommendations folder we should have a cigar folder smoking pleasures food Food. link it up for us Rendell I'll forget Elder God wind power lisp wait what you don't like man no I don't like Mandalorian <laughs> Earlier in the stream, I explained one scene that made me turn it off. Facet David Attenborough is amazing. Did you watch his collaboration with Tom York on Radiohead for Planet? Planet, I watched a couple episodes. I haven't watched the whole thing. I haven't watched the whole thing. The soundtrack was amazing, of course. Cheryl, woke in and of itself isn't bad. I agree. I'm all about mist of the concepts, but not some of the ram it down your throat methods of sharing info. Cheryl, here's the thing. The, I, I, I like to call it the leftoids now. Not the woke, but the leftoids, right? They dropped the ball. I went to the rally, the Freedom Rally yesterday. Okay. And as I mentioned previously, I'm not going to go too deep because I do want to load this on to censor too. But I've mentioned previously that the leftoids have allowed the pendulum to swing so far, so far this way with censorship and draconian government mandates and tyranny and their apathy towards government brutalizing certain segments of society that the pendulum is going to swing so far in the other direction that it's going to make people's heads spin cheryl you know what i'm talking about roe versus wade is one of them and it's coming and it's going to be hard and cheryl i'm pissed that freedom of freedoms are being taken away but one of the reasons freedoms are being taken away is because people that pretended to stand for personal choice stood with tyranny when they brutalized their own citizens and the main, main the main people standing up to this tyranny are certain segment of society huge faction of society that is saying no way we will bend the knee we will stand up to tyranny and we want to be heard and certain things that we thought were closed regarding our moral understanding of society they're being open now and the debate has to be done it has to be done now Cheryl it's back and the only reason it's back is because the leftoids the stupid dumbass leftoids those cowards they they stepped away when the fight was just beginning i'm talking a lot so my cigar is going out joe chicho i'm not sure how popular carl pilkington is in canada i don't know him uh, but he's been friends with ricky jervis for years and has been involved in a number of his projects starting with their radio show and podcast called the ricky jervis show and then a travel documentary called an idiot abroad 
one of the funniest people ever really i don't know this person we do have a comedy channel on this uh on gilded joe if you have something uh here's our gilded page if you have something share it share it with us there i'd love to take a look uh gang comedians have been some of the greatest philosophers in our societies okay oh. bill gates being one of them okay and many others oh, um, anyway there's a few of them uh, carly shay i'm smoking a boulevard royal corona boulevard royal corona very delicious strong and man feels good and this is not me promoting cigars smoking or anything right this is me enjoying some of the loves of my life while i live stream Cheryl, my U.S. rep calls anything he doesn't like woke. <laughs> Welcome to the United States of America. Whether it is something newish or not, just in flames his base. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> and gang, 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 gang. You want to see? You want to see brilliant discussion? You want to? You want to see cigar smoking? Some of the some of the best cigar smoking. And just what a cigar lounge would be like right julian assange put out a series through rt okay uh the world it was called the world tomorrow i highly recommend watching it we did live streams we watched a handful of them where they smoke cigars in some of them some of the episodes or at least one of the episodes two a couple of the episodes they sit there and smoke cigars talk about life and law politics economics highly recommend that highly recommend it. brilliant 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 and some of the discussion taking place during those episodes that julian assange put out right the world tomorrow today i think something's like that right is because those types of discussions need to be taking place in our societies and we have to work towards work towards freeing assange freeing assange freeing assange because julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity something that we desperately desperately need in our societies okay for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on censor Gang, to Julian Assange, salute. Okay. Mr. Hezekiah, 120 guns per person in the U.S. is a problem as well. Uh, Mr. Hezekiah, I don't think there's 120 guns per person in the United States. From what I understand, there's 200 million guns in the United States and there's 330 million population in the United States. I, I don't think there's 120 guns per person in the United States. So we've got a second. Nets in four. Carl uh, Pilkington is hilarious. Cool. I'm scrolling down game gilded server gilded server lonely piggy Hello. chicho and chat how's everyone doing doing good lonely piggy how are you doing welcome back to our live stream and thank you very much for the twitch prime sub lonely piggy hope you're doing well crazy bro athens how are you doing welcome welcome back to another live stream i'm scrolling down gang oh i'm almost i'm almost to the bottom i am to the bottom nice an idiot abroad is brilliant really mr hezekiah really you second that as well i don't know it well i know it now but i didn't know it i should i should watch that as well doing super well awesome lonely piggy good 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 <laughs> elder god says please come to the gilded server it is a new chichonian castle <laughs> here's our gilded server
Oh, Mr. Hezekiah says I'm bad. It's 120 per 100. Okay, so 1.2 guns per person in the United States. I think that's legit. I think I think every person in every country should be armed. So I think keeping a ratio of one gun per person in the world would be fantastic. Just because of tyranny, government tyranny, right? Joe, 120 uh, point five civilian own firearms per hundred people. 120 civilians own. Okay, so 1.2 per hundred. Okay, cool. Uh, 1.2 per person. 1.2 per person. Birdie here. Just look, man. Cigars are expensive. I bet they're taxed up the yin. They're taxed up the yin yang. And in Canada, crazy expensive. I just because I was getting back into cigars. It's cigar season. I'm just gonna buy one at a time. I used to buy boxes, by the way. And there was a period where I sold a little <laughs> cigars, sold some cigars, right? And there was times where I worked in a Cuban cigar store, uh, and you know, someone would walk in, want to buy a couple of cigars. I was a good salesman. I am a good salesman. Things that I loved, and I would sell them like seven thousand dollars worth of cigars or something, right? But cigar prices have gone up, up even higher than when I was selling them, right? I looked at some boxes uh, because the cigar season I thought maybe I'll buy a box but expensive a box is very expensive uh, they've doubled in price uh, box oh, actually you know what they haven't really singles this was this was $33 Boulevard Royal Corona and gang this is not promoting this is not the if you're a cigar smoker you know how to handle your cigar you can smoke a heavy cigar this is literally the best bang for your buck. This thing in Canada cost uh, $33, okay? $33 Canadian. And it is one of the best cigars in the world, okay? Has always been one of the best cigars in the world for the last 25 years since I came across it. There are cigars you can, that are more expensive than this, that aren't worth half the weight of this. Okay, it is strong. It is strong. Okay, but expensive in Canada, especially. Quote from Elder God: "Quote the proper function of a man is to live, not to exist." I shall not waste my days in trying to prolong them. I shall use my time. Awesome. Right. It's not about how long you live. It's how well you live. That's the same um, thing I consider about relationship. Relationships are not about longevity. Relationships, relationships are about intensity. That has been my philosophy. Since I was like early 20s. Okay. Lonely Piggy, how are the plants looking so far on the patio? Did you go and buy any new ones? We've been, actually we haven't talked about plants. Uh, our city, by the way, gang, one of the things uh, about surviving the Great Reset, some of the things that we've talked about, uh, building communities and whatnot, one of the things every community should do is give away free seedlings, right? So check this out. Here, let's watch this. Here's a here's a tray of seedlings, right? This has got uh, it's got a whole bunch of stuff. We got lettuce, we got kale, we got chard, we got basil, we got uh, zucchinis, we got uh, uh, cucumbers here. Um, we got uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, chives here. Uh, we got some Japanese greens here and stuff. This tray, okay. This tray. This tray of seedlings, right? This tray of seedlings. These ones. Calendula as well, right? Calendula. 
Right. We got the. Uh, what's this one called? We got what else? We got chard, broccoli. We got broccoli. 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 Shiso, right? Shiso. Another tray here, right? Another tray here. Half a tray. All these greens on the side here. This bed. This bed. These are all tomatoes that you see here. See, do, see these guys there? Those are all tomatoes. I got 12 tomato plants we've planted. Seedlings. All of this picked up from the city giving away seedlings for free for people to plant in their yards okay to grow food for themselves this is what every city and municipality should be doing every spring they should be giving away seedlings for free to people that want them to make the community food stable right make sure the community is food secure right and it gets people growing food and it gets it builds a community right all of these we've planted a whole bunch we've planted a tray and a half that bed over there we haven't there's a bed back there that's just like this we haven't planted the seeds yet I got a whole bunch of pots they also give away soil and compost and wood chips for free we went and picked up some soil we got soil we've used some soil we've used some compost right in the front of the house we're gonna do some of the plants as well this year right so that's the business right gang if you want to start thinking about how to be financially independent just I'm just giving this little pitch again okay financially independent if you want to be food secure if you want to build a community if you want to uh, raise a family if you want to be mentally uh, at peace right learn to garden learn to garden learn to grow food okay if you're active in your community lobby your cities your counties your districts to give away seedlings to people so they can have gardens where they're growing food there are also ways communities uh, in our area anyway where uh, there's an organization that they actually will come and uh, turn your yard into like a mini garden and they will share the food with you okay as well as take some away to give to the homeless and stuff like this so this year again we're planting a fair bit of stuff lots of lettuce lots of butter lettuce the butter lettuce we love lots of tomatoes so lonely piggy the plants are looking fantastic i'm loving the garden we're gonna do a lot of live streams here okay if things work out if the weather holds out ah cheryl good point so 1.2 guns per capita cheryl says but that number includes children so at least uh, a few per adult okay so let's kick it up to two per adult right i still think that's legit cheryl i still think that's legit maybe we should say two per family no it won't be two per family what would it be per family uh, and what is a family mr hezekiah i think the problem is that the wild access everyone enjoys leaves a lot of room for loopholes maybe nets and four chicho i do uh, go to uvic and recently struggled in stats and have to take it again next semester oh no what advice would you have as someone who excels at math i don't know if i excel in <laughs> I don't know if I that's one of the liqueurs popping the lid. I don't know if I excel in that, really. Um but 
I would say enjoy it enjoy it and that don't let bad teachers uh, and that's one thing with education don't let bad teachers discourage you from learning something okay really one of the reasons people struggle uh, in the education system is they come across bad teachers it, it happened to me right uh, you have to go beyond that and realize they don't represent the content the content should stand alone on itself so if you have a bad teacher that you're not understanding what they're saying look online look for support there's lots of people out there lots of info out there that you can teach yourself a lot of the things that um, you're taking courses for mr hezekiah i have a ccp i am by no means anti-gun i just don't understand why when a massacre happens our government says the same uh, empty shit because they they mr hezekiah as far as i'm concerned the governments want their citizens disarmed right so that's the reason they say some of that stuff and some of the people in government say well we have the right and i think they are correct people should have the right to bear arms <laughs> Eduardo, this sounds like cigar salesman talk. I'm a great cigar sell salesman. I love it's something that I love. And uh, if I if I owned a cigar factory or a cigar brand, I would hire me to be the salesman <laughs> for the cigar. <laughs> Monkey bugs. <laughs> <laughs> milk provider lark bark how are you doing hello chicho good afternoon good afternoon let's grab a plant let's grab a plant we'll grab some i planted a whole bunch of stuff all right like oh here let me show you this i planted some grass for the kitty cats watch this Kitty cats love, love munching on grass, right? So I planted them grass so they could enjoy it. Lark bark, how are you doing? Good afternoon, good afternoon. First time chat. Cropo, Cropo Technic, Cropo Technic. Welcome to our live stream. Lonely Piggy, my neighbor also gave us seven plants total this year. Very cool, very cool, awesome. Broccoli, broccoli rocks. Broccoli. We planted broccoli last year. The big fat squirrel ate the whole thing. We didn't get any broccoli. <laughs> big fat squirrels love broccoli. Ate it all. kinetic crypto kinetic there's uh there's all kinds of edible veggies almost nobody has ever heard of yeah yeah now the god anti-fragile the plant growing way is very popular here at the moment awesome mr hezekiah master class offers a class on gardening just as pca cool ready here do you have a south facing garden we do have a south facing garden yeah it's not a garden it's a patio um and i guess uh, east east and south uh another part of the house some strong winds yeah the kez hello the kez how are you doing welcome back kinetic crypto kinetic i'm a happy camper with just the tomato in the um, rice cooker at night nice 
Very simple recipe. Learned it on YouTube, yeah. The rice, tomatoes, tomato and rice go amazing together. You need a little bit of onions, give it a little, right? The cat says, been a while. Hope you're all keeping well. Indeed, Kaz. And welcome back. Welcome back. Kebabs, how are you doing? Have you seen the shit regarding bars at the moment? I'm tired of this country, man. I'd rather live in Canada at this point. Uh, dude, if you're tired of Boris, you're going to be vomit-inducing. Like, vomiting, projectile vomiting with Trudeau. Right? Yeah, sorry. I know it's off-topic. Just uh, realize this is a gardening stream. This is gardening talking well if you're smoking a cigar we can talk about anything we want right lonely piggy i have my permit for possession uh acquisitions here in canada but i can't keep the weapon and the ammunition in the same safe unless each are locked separately from one another it's fun to go to shooting ranges though friends are always so surprised i have that especially considering how canada views guns in general yeah a certain, certain segment of canada there's a lot of people that have been pro propaganda i was one of them i was against guns by the way for a long time who needs guns and then i realized we need guns what are you crazy these dictators are brutal right so we need guns but i can i can see the propaganda is powerful right kebab to elder god let's hope so this one right here will be Russia before we know it. I don't know. The UK, you wish you were Russia. Russia has a little bit more freedom regarding certain things than the UK. To very little, right? But UK has gone down. It's a dog. Same with Canada. Western world is clown world now. Eduardo, my dogs also like, like it munching on grass. My mom always said it helped. Uh, stomach ache yeah for the kitty cats cool I, I had no idea until we get these two kitty cats cats like eating grass it's like what kebabs gardens like yours are the best in my opinion small and cozy easy to maintain yeah it requires a little bit of watering like I've started watering a lot now like there's gonna be a lot of watering here I, 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 I was gonna set it up in a way that I could water easily instead of just a you know water carrying thing but i think it's just going to be water carrying thing a little bit of exercise now look at the big main patio can you plant there this is this is the big patio we got the big patio if it was to me elder god kaz to explain my absence i started up my business again going very well but i'm busy 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 awesome what are you doing kids what business kebabs wouldn't mind a cigar right now but i got snuff for my buzz nuts snuts what's a snuts ah kebabs mr hezekaya i got told i was gonna i was gross because i like to shoot at ranges really well that person ain't for you that's crazy you were gross <laughs> that's weird people can be so myopic cheryl says crazy yes i ignored he and kept blasting haha -ha, i ignored her and kept blasting <laughs> Me too. i had the, just on that note let's say he's a cat uh for a short period i was at the beginning stages of dating someone a long time ago all right and I didn't have any facial hair when we started dating. And then after a few dates, uh, you know, I mentioned I was going to start growing a beard, right? And she turned to me and said, that's very inconsiderate. I went, what? <laughs> what do you mean? She goes, I hate beards. I go, what? Uh, most of my life I had facial hair. Uh, so I had a choice between her or facial hair. Uh, <laughs> I'll let you guess what I chose. <laughs> Uh, girl, a beard. A girl, a beard. A girl, a beard. A beard. We're going with a beard, man. Kebabs. My opinion on guns is just further re uh, regulation. No AR is being openly sold. 
uh, sold, I'd say limit gun availability to handguns. I'd hope that would naturally decrease the amount of mass shootings, but also provide protection uh, to the innocent. Uh, I think a lot of murders are done by handguns, not by automatic rifles and stuff. I think a lot of murders in the United States are handguns. I might be mistaken on that though. Cheryl says, I suppose it shouldn't surprise me. I want uh, usually shock the heck out of people when they find out I can shoot quite well too. Oh, really, Cheryl? Nice. Nice. Do you have, Cheryl, do you own a gun? Or that might be too personal question. Sorry if it is. You don't have to answer, by the way. The Kes Chicho, private chef, pop-up restaurants, and corporate private events catering oh nice private chef there's good money in that I've, i have a couple of friends or i've had a couple of friends that were chefs pretty hardcore chefs actually and uh, private parties uh, were an amazing money maker uh, so and private chefs on yachts and uh, when the billionaires or multi-millionaires want to go to their you know vacation homes they hire a private chef and stuff like this good money maker kebabs i got nicotine patches i just call it snuff spam <laughs> this is your top gum and feel good is <laughs> it kebabs hilarious any devil's lettuce you grow no i don't know devil's lettuce my partner might i don't know any devil's lettuce we're growing a butter lettuce lots of butter lettuce she has seeds she's gonna plant she's already planted some lettuce i don't know if devil's lettuce is part of it cheryl one of my biggest things is eliminating the ability to impulse buy firearms that i would agree with right there's got to be a background check right birdie here in the uk i think most guns are in the country rather than city much less common than in the u.s okay elder god i'm starting to plant vegetables in my pubs beer garden area it's massive and i can block it off real good soil as well nice nice it, man, it would be amazing elder god if i had a pub i would have walls of peas growing like peas you can munch on and have a beer garden and have the peas growing there and then people could be drinking beer and eating peas off the vines that'd be fantastic <laughs> mr is <laughs> kind of laughing ah uh, and the beard one easily really i didn't even think about it right i know i did girl beer girl beer girl beer but as soon as she said inconsiderate i don't like beers it was already beer like <laughs> I was I wasn't gonna last very long. <laughs> and it didn't. <laughs> Most gun crimes are committed by handguns if I'm correct. I think so too, big boy. I think so too. Finnegan Fox, I feel like I feel this gun debate is moot due to the advancement ability of three D printing. To a certain degree I agree. Alright. rifles and shotguns are the last thing anyone should take should buy you mean cheryl that's what cheryl says kebabs you're right on that front i'm just referring to the mass shooting shootings most are done with ar-15s if i'm not mistaken however i could be mr for see here's the thing kebabs what kind of pharmaceutical drugs medication are these mass shooters on when they go on these mass shootings are these people on when they go on these mass shootings i think if there's a correlation there's a correlation let's see if there's a causation and the side effects of a lot of these medications states depression suicide you want to kill people <laughs> that's one of the side effects of some of these medications pharmaceuticals Maybe if we take those away before we take anyone, anything else away, then maybe 
there won't be as many shootings, mass shootings. We don't know. We should do a study on it. Less, how are you doing? What's up, guys? He says, Lonely Piggy, I can purchase pistol and an AR 15s, but the latter is frowned upon hardcore by family and friends. Weird. Oh. Devil's lettuce is weed. Haha. <laughs> thanks for letting me know lonely picky yes we have seedlings growing right and we will be in canada you're allowed to plant four plants and we will be planting four plants uh we did last year we did the year before as soon as it became legalized and this year we plan on it we planted some seeds unfortunately only two of them came up so we're doing another seed round to get two more right so we got two seedlings going and a couple of uh, uh new seeds that have prop, uh, popped up <laughs> she goes with me. <laughs> I just call cannabis. <laughs> yes, if it's devil's lettuce, yes. Cheryl, I don't mind. No, not now. I don't hunt, and I. Uh, so you don't have gun, Cheryl. Okay, I don't hunt, and I believe that you increase your chances of being shot by uh, wielding a weapon and a, a break-in, especially if you and the thief take each other by surprise. Yeah, true. Uh, hey, rifles and shotguns I mean single load not massive max okay Elagod I have fired a few guns in my time huh SA80 Browning pistol and an SLR rifle used in Northern Ireland in the 70s and 80s training and psychological testing was very useful for stopping maniacs from being trained there must be red flags pop up right mr he's like i can't wait to get my permit for a silencer Ooh, i thought silencers were illegal in most parts of the world i need to get more rice elder god the hunger fold massacre and uh, and dunblane made the uk uh, and Dumbley made the UK get serious about gun laws. Okay. Not the Sunday massacre in Belfast. Kebabs, yeah, I agree. It's also indoctrination from Reddit that some of these adolescents are subject to. Joe Chicho, I was introduced to a gun range here in the UK when I was around eight years old. Guns are a lot more regulated here in the UK, so it is. It was only an air rifle. Cool. First time chat. See, Bu. If someone during a study experiences a symptom, it gets listed as a side effect. Since the patients were already suffering the symptoms at the beginning of the study, then they must be listed if not affected by medicine birdie here in the uk it's illegal to have a gun for the purpose of self-defense etc against home invasion really i believe in the us that's one of the key reasons people have got have them uh the main reason that people in the united states the constitution states the second amendment i believe uh states that you should bear arms is to uh, prevent from tyranny taking hold in the united states of america uh, self-protection not just from individuals but from government Lonely Piggy, do you plan on doing any liqueur streams or cooking streams in the future? Oh, for sure, Lonely Piggy. Once I the workload school season ends, we're going to get back into... i got to go through the liqueur cabinet. It's, it's a mess right now. So we'll definitely do a liqueur stream and cooking streams. Lots of cooking streams. I want to do lots of cooking streams. I want to cook it up. I want to cook it up. I want to cook it up. Oh, Mr. Hizekas says it regarding silencers. Because they are awesome, and if the caliber is small enough, you can shoot without ear uh, protection. Okay, cool. But it, uh, from what I understand, silencers, uh, it takes away from your aim, no? Cebu. I take antidepressants and have never once wanted to inflict pain on people. I imagine there are a lot of us on medication 
that don't shoot people. I agree, there are a lot of people on medication that don't shoot people, but the way it's handed out in the United States of America and Canada for that matter, it's like candy. It's insane. These are powerful drugs. They they need to be looked into who's how how easily they're being prescribed to people. Joe Chicho, gun restrictions will work the same way the drug war and prohibition work. It won't. All it will do is push the market into the black market and make criminal organizations more powerful like prohibition did with the mafia and the drug war did with the cartels when there is a demand demand for it there will always be a supply joe i 100 percent agree with you i 100 percent agree with you 100 percent Oh God, no, the Sunday massacre was just politically inconvenient. That's what my major told me in the 1990s. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Crazy. And gang, if you're cigar and water, go hand in hand, right? You could, the, the best drink to complement the cigar is water, by the way. Coffee's not bad either. <clears throat> Mr. Hezekiah, no uh, suppression actually helps your aim because it vents out the gas, making the barrel jump less. Oh, really? So it improves your aim. Interesting. Kebabs, no, no. No one can argue anything about this topic, though, until more research is done. Yeah, there is correlation, though, kebabs, regarding shootings and... Oh, we have a run on the cigar. Because it's windy... By the way, gang, I'm going to take the label off. Because it's windy, you get runs on the cigars, right? So smoking a cigar in, in a windy setting is more difficult because uh, you get runs on the cigars. And when you get runs on the cigars, you can control them by ashing it, right? And then evening it out, the torch lighter. So you burn off the bottom part, right? Wherever the run is. And then you can go like this too. Give it a little wet. So it burns uh, slowly. Where it's burning a lot, you can just wet it, right? And burn off this access oops burn off this access and slowly you'll even it out you want an even smoke does wild garlic grow can i'm pretty sure the cast uh sometimes called uh scapes in the uk they are in season right now. Delicious flavor, somewhere between chives and garlic. I make 12 kilograms of wild garlic and pine nut pesto. Nice. That'd be amazing. I don't know where to harvest wild garlic though. Uh, but people here grow a lot of garlic. We should be planting garlic as well. We should have done it. I think you're supposed to do it in the winter. Or you're supposed to do it at the end of fall for the next season. Uh, Cheryl can correct me on that. Uh, Chibu, coat, uh, well-regulated militia means the government wants to have a record of all the weapons in the land so that it, if someone tries to invade us, we will know if we are prepared or not. Mm, I don't know if that's the reason. I don't know if that's the reason. I think we should follow the Switzerland model. Everyone should have a gun in their house. Cheryl, I joke that I don't need to own a gun because if the shift, uh, I can just look at facebook and know who to barter with uh -huh. crypto kinetic i make homemade distilled water chicho uh -huh. <laughs> i hope you got good ventilation <laughs> free julian assange gang free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Censor 2.
CryptoKinetics says 30 cents a gallon compared to a bucket gallon Oof. at the store. Also, no plastic container. Nice. Liss, is that a demi bucket hat? Looks great on you, but I don't know if it's a, is this what they call it? Demi bucket? I love this hat. This hat has gone swimming with me for years. It's 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 a hat I've had for I don't know how long now. Like a long time, long time. It's a denim. It's a denim hat. If that's what you mean. Now you just gotta check this out. It's got a pocket. It's got a pocket on top of the hat. It's not gonna show it's dark, right? It's got a Velcro pocket on top of the hat, right, inside. So, you know, if I'm at the beach or something, I put my valuables there. And, uh, and keep things safe, right? And it is, so it is a denim bucket hat. Denim rocks last forever. Sun Jun Sunachi. I'm eating the spruce roots on the local trees every day now until end of summer. Nice. Made spruce root smoothie today. Spruce root smoothie. Really? Nice. Svensson. How are you doing? I love the wind in the background. Your garden is nice. Thank you very much. I'm proud of my the patio garden. Very proud of it. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Elder God. Peace through superior firepower, it says. A birdie here. What do I think of electric cars? Man. Uh, they sure aren't living up to their hype, right? They're not environmentally friendly, really. A uh, lot of hype. Almonds. Right? Soaked almonds. Soak them for a few days. Okay. So this is soaked almonds. Okay. And then... The skin comes off. See that? The skin, you just pinch it off. And you can eat the almonds without the skin. And it's juicy. Very good, very good. Sibu. Uh, so you're saying that when crazy people are treated, for their craziness and if it doesn't work and they go uh, some, do something crazy then the treatment made them do it that sounds pretty dumb and backwards to me uh, Cebu I don't think we have as many crazy people in our society as the pharmaceutical companies would like us to believe and as many people who are taking uh, pharmaceuticals I think many many people Okay, are taking excess pharmaceuticals and that is having a detrimental effect to our society okay uh, I think pharmaceuticals have their place indeed there's no doubt right but the numbers are insane in Canada and the United States just through my experience for the last two decades plus I've seen kids put be put on pharmaceutical antidepressant that did not require to be on those medications and then they pull them out and they there's side effects there's withdrawals i've seen some lives be utterly shattered because of pharmaceuticals so there's something wrong there's something wrong uh, elder god same hat from the cliff diving video <laughs> this thing has jumped off many many cliffs with me this thing really this thing is one of my like Really? I know, we gotta do a cliff jumping video. Splash pocket, splash pocket, lava, lava. <laughs> awesome. The kids, see if you can harvest some pine pollen, one of the only plant sources of 
testosterone testosterone and packed with other uh, phylonutrients really uh, what is this again pine pollen we actually Cheryl by the way we harvested some uh, fresh pine needles and made some tea my partner really loved the flavor I didn't like the flavor too much so we did harvest some because uh, Cheryl recommended harvest some pine needles fresh pine needles and we harvested some fresh pine needles made tea it was too strong the flavor was very uh, it was overwhelming for me a little bit not neat no ice we drink it neat Joe Chicho uh, what is your opinion on the nuclear peace theory it states that countries possessing nuclear weapons actually increase peace and stability because of fear of escalation and some people argue that it was the main reason why the COVID war the Cold War between the US and Russia never escalated into a hot war between the two um, there is I've heard this argument with many people uh, Cohen uh, I forget his first name Cohen he recently passed away a couple of years ago I forget his name there's many people polit political analysts who stated this as well Joe I tend to agree when uh, there were saner times but right now it's extremely dangerous because there are people that have no allegiances to any countries they are globalists and globalists are the most dangerous thing to happen to humanity since the invention of the nuclear weapon right globalists will nuke the world and we have some globalists all over Western world right now in the United States and Canada and Europe they are globalists they have no allegiances to any country or any peoples they believe they as the World Economic Forum the Carl Schwab the world is theirs to do what they want with and if they think the population of the world every other living thing on this planet is there to serve them then if that population uh, rises up against them they won't think twice about nuking, nuke, nuking the world because all they'll do they just nuke the world go to their bases in Antarctica or underground where the hell they want to go to where, where do where do where do monsters go right and then they're assuming that they can come back and repopulate the world with their own genetic mutated uh, seeds like I, I'm trying to be polite here right so yes and no I think nuclear weapons have acted as a deterrent to nuclear to world war uh, world war three but I think we're on the brink of world war three right now anywhere in it right so I think we have to reevaluate that I'm scrolling down gang uh, Subu that is a strange thought what is your medical uh, education I don't have medical education take everything I say with a grain of salt don't take anything I say to heart and just consider me uh, dingling sitting here uh, drinking tequila smoking cigars and growing a garden don't take anything I say to heart as if I'm an expert on anything uh, the only thing I'm an expert on is me okay that's it and my experiences I've had in life and the data I've looked at and from what I've seen there's a correlation between people who've done mass shootings and pharmaceuticals either when they're coming and the correlation is not just that they've been on pharmaceuticals the correlation that I've seen is when people are put on pharmaceuticals there is a period where things are not as stable okay and there's a period when they're taken off pharmaceuticals whatever they might be there's a correlation there where they're unstable 
That's what that's what the the fine print on that medication says, right? There might be suicidal tendencies on when they're introducing the drug to someone, and there might be suicidal tendencies when they're remove a drug drug for someone withdrawals, right? The correlation there is just you have to look at it. It's it's there. I mean, it's not me saying it. It's pharmaceutical companies saying this. So we have to look at the data. I don't think this data has been looked at intensively, right? Oh, there was a Chicho there somewhere. Baby Knights 5, how are you doing? Chicho, in your last stream, I saw that you were talking about Croatia adopting the euro. I am from Croatia, and I just, and just to let everyone know, literally no one wants that. No one wants that in Croatia. I didn't think so, right? No one asked us. Croats, Croat, Croats, to adopt that, and we are pissed about it. Government made that decision on its own to suck up to leaders in Brussels. We thought uh, he was gonna do the same thing as Hungary, constantly postpone adopting it, but we didn't. Just wanted to clear that up. Okay, awesome, baby knights. And I didn't think, uh, I personally i think in that video in the last stream i mentioned that i don't think the majority of croatians want to adopt the euro the majority of no country wants to adopt a failing currency ruled over by oligarchs and technocrats in brussels in a country in a, in a province that has no allegiance to their own country why the f would you give up your sovereignty like that uh baby knights uh, you guys have a few months to turn that around and do not adopt the euro that is that is the end of Croatia as you know it I hope people realize that right I hope people realize that Because, yeah, that's the stuff you can. Oh, that's reply to someone. I'm scrolling down again. Ego by day, ego be ego by day. News states that news are just a boogeyman to a certain degree. Be careful. We, if Russia is, if there's danger, dangerous territory. Uh, Elder God, pine, uh, pine pollen is gaining popularity among men looking to boost their testosterone levels, typically taken in supplement form. The powdery substance is made up of grains dis discharged from the male part of the pine cone of tree species such as Scots pine. Really? I didn't know this. Cebu, thank you for the definition. My pleasure. Madness. And geophysics, and geophysics. I think the cigar is almost done. I think the cigar is almost done. It's got a couple of puffs left in it. Left in it. <laughs> I, w I was with my cigar friends and stuff. Where I had cigar friends, I don't right now. They knew that I would. Uh, I took cigars down all the way to the bottom. Salute, gang. So good. Sven, 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 Hungary should have. Instead, it's using its much worse and shitty currency to foreign. It's worth 400 to 1 euro now. Gang, 
do not, do not forget. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Censor 2. Oh, look, the truth is being said. I don't, I don't know what got deleted, Cebu. Watch Elfo, how are you doing? Chicho, smoke in the back, heart feels okay, man. Tea time, holy. Cheers from Brazil, my man. Cheers, cheers, cheers to our Brazilian brothers and sisters. I got a little tea here as well. <sighs> tea is good too, tea is good too. I'm going to try to get a couple of more puffs out of the cigar. Sun Sonachi. But speaking of electric machines, they should come up with some new technology to make lawnmowers and wheat hackers silent and offer a monetary reward to people for turning in their old loud machines. Sunachi, I agree with you, and there are electric um, yard tools. My cousin actually has a company where he only uses electric tools to mow the lawn, to trim the hedges, and do his gardening work. Okay, and it's way more silent than these two-stroke machines that people use everywhere. It's that's one of the things I don't like about the suburbs to a certain degree, and people doing yard work and hiring companies to do their they bring in some of the loudest machinery to blow leaf blowers these two stroke it's horrendous the noise pollution is crazy <laughs> many in meditation has been ruined by loud gardeners yeah bit rate dropping only for me oh i hope it's not we're not slowing down list fox are uh sponsored by big pharma so they wouldn't advocate against pharmaceuticals show show you don't know much yeah i from what i understand majority of the advertisement on cable television is from pharmaceutical companies we can get one more smoke out of this one or two more puffs out of this Come on. Hey. Yeah, there are manual lawnmowers as well, Joe. We used to have one. Actually, we might still have one in the shed, but we don't have too much grass here, so. Cheryl, Chicho, does he have an electric zero radius mower? That would be awesome. I don't know, I don't know what he has. He's in a different city, right? He's in Vancouver and Victoria. Uh, but he, his business is booming. He bought out his partner. But he's using all electric. And he's got a hybrid car he does as well so it's a good uh, good selling point right environmentally friendly gardener i don't know what his business company is called though joe chicho i've always been bothered by the loudness of vacuum cleaners <laughs> yeah, me too Boy, how are you doing? I'm gonna allow your thing. And kettles, kettles. You need to know when the water's boiled. <laughs> Just woke up to catch the stream. Awesome. Availability, how are you doing? Welcome to our live stream. Crypto Kinetic. 
when you think about uh, combustion engines compared to electric motors it makes sense combustion engines generators use an explosion that's usually very loud unless you know how to stop the sound and that's expensive cars can run relatively quiet for example but those cost thousands yeah and uh, when you silence the engine uh, it's not as efficient from what I understand especially for cars that's one of the reasons when old school cars anyway when they bought cars I had friends that used to do this they used to take out the silence uh, the mechanisms whatever was in there I'm not a mechanic they used to take out the stuff to make it less noisy because the car was more powerful so you lose horsepower first time chat that dude zoot welcome to our live stream how are you doing Jews <laughs> like taking on everyone <laughs> see boo is taking on everyone <laughs> hilarious hilarious dun, 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 dun. bam him oh my god uh. not self-aware self oh my god are cubans illegal in canada <laughs> no 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 i thought you meant the people no the people are not illegal uh cubans no 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 cubans have never been illegal in canada cuban cigars have always been legal 20 two years ago i worked in a cuban cigar exclusively cuban cigar store we used to have a lot of americans come buy a lot of cigars thousands of dollars of cigars uh, take to the united states i've shipped cuban cigars to the united states 10 minute warning wow we're already 10 minutes oh my god we're almost at the end of the stream gang we're at the end of the stream we're at the end of the stream gang should we call the stream should i give you another look at the garden by the way up here these are the grapes growing in right so this summer as we do more streams here you're gonna see this get lusher and lusher and our grapes growing we're gonna eat some grapes harvest some grapes hilarious end of cigar equals end of stream end of cigar equals end of stream done deal done deal i'm gonna milk this as much as i can sibu you're being rude to the whole the whole people <laughs> what you can't be rude to the chat should we time you out dude you gotta be nice don't be rude you get you you would have got kicked out of the cigar lounge by now we're we're tolerating the BS. Gaming goods. Wish your streams were longer, to be honest. Uh, in the summer, we do longer. The cooking streams go on. The longest stream we did was six and a half hours cooking in the kitchen, I think. Right? <laughs> you even got Cheryl replying to you, telling you to be, to be cool. <laughs> someone took him out Cheryl Cheryl oh my god you brought the wrath of Cheryl so one of the kindest most tolerant people I've ever seen in my life Chubu and you brought the you brought Cheryl uh, timed you out man you're doing something wrong when you're pissing off one of the nicest people that have come across online crazy crazy oh well oh well for warm black <laughs> it's not been a pleasure man this chat seems really can't talk oh i hope not that dude suit yeah i stopped reading his stuff by the way i stopped reading his stuff it's okay like, like gang i can honestly tell you there's some trolls out there they're weak trolls they're kids they grow up right they become men women whatever right slowly over time they look at back their time their time if they if they haven't grown up they look at the time they were being weak trolls as nostalgic and something good pathetic right there are some people out there that are genuinely angry right 
and for us we do allow them to be on this platform and vent a little bit and read and think at least some seeds get planted in them so like life maybe they'll grow and bear fruit and provide something that's beneficial to society right? sometimes they're weeds you just got to take them out right it's it, our society is very weird right now there's going to be a lot of need for mental health uh, in the Western world it gets so heavy when it gets down this low <laughs> using nice person and mother just uh, we got the best mods online we got the best mods online no doubt no doubt salute to the mods I should fill this up bigger. Can't put the cigar down because it will go out if I do. Ooh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Can we get one more puff out of this? But salute to the mods. Cheryl says, my philosophy is to be like Lloyd Dubler as the key master. And when it fails, quote, you must chill. You must chill. I have hidden <laughs> your keys. <laughs> hilarious i have no idea who this lord trauma would do this but i like him What was Subiu getting mad about? I think life. Cheers, Chicho. Cheryl says, Master Markog, did you say mental health? Uh, well, crikey, come on down, big pharma. Got about a thousand different pills to cure that for you. For us, garden. Mental health. Gardening is an amazing remedy if you're having mental health anger issues list availability Chisho said that pharmaceutical perhaps induce outbursts of violence he seems very offended uh, for some reason yeah he seemed very offended <sighs> Cheryl it was uh, John Cusack's character and say anything oh was it John Cusack's character okay you know what I I looked at John Cusack's politics a little bit. Oh, nasty, nasty, nasty. But John Cusack as an actor, Say Anything was a great movie. Really like John Cusack in the 80s and 90s. Not bad, not bad. We're done with the cigar. We're done with the cigar. Salute, gang. Salute. elder god a troll is just a de de delusioned individual looking for a family as his own ignores him for being the black sheep possibly there are some powerful trolls out there like epic trolls out there that have done amazing work right but weak trolls they're they're sad unfortunately 
the tranquility of nature can be a very powerful thing indeed 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 and exercise exercise like the first thing that should be as far as I'm concerned prescribed to anyone that is depressed is exercise and eating healthy those are the two main things that as far as I'm concerned society should have the forefront to help people that are having having problems with their mental health right but it's not Cheryl that character set a standard for what my friends and I were willing to accept in any potential boyfriends <laughs> really I gotta watch that again <laughs> availability I'm a very powerful troll you won't believe how many kids have trolled in legal vengeance <laughs> hilarious long live long live Ray Liotta rest in peace may he rest in peace in movie heaven indeed he was a great actor I really liked the roles he played really he had a certain demeanor about him John Sunachi I'm banned in about 41 channels for take talking about the science of so-called injections am I a troll who knows who knows Rendell when I feel anxious I go for a walk in the forest phone muted nice I like to sit and breathe on on a rock eyes closed and listen to the sounds of nature really helps a lot Rendell I'm with you 100% uh, I can't explain to you guys right after having gone through certain devastating blows to the family and I've talked about this um, regarding losing a couple of a couple of brothers uh, one to accident one to cancer and stuff like this I spent a lot of time at the beach on the rocks swimming in nature to stabilize again extremely important extremely important at the same time I saw some people take for some pharmaceuticals that did not help them to deal with what they needed to deal with okay so to each their own <laughs> the CIA and availability says unless the CIA zaps you with an anxiety frequencies or the heart attack gun Oof. master I have my own weight room and lift five days out of the week nothing like it nothing like it the adrenaline the endorphins the healing enzymes that we get teacher overtime gang let's call the stream <laughs> I hope you guys are having a fantastic time I'm gonna pour myself a little bit more tequila and we go off with a salute we go off with a salute gang there's no one I can think of that we got to do cheers to more important than Julian Assange so gang free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of pa capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our Julian Assange of Wikileaks playlist on censor to Cheryl patio stream and we're leaving in a bit for a sunset battle nice awesome 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 until next time gang until next time and tomorrow tomorrow we're doing comic book readings excerpts from a certain amount of comic books I've been reading for the last few weeks fantastic reads fantastic reads we'll post photos in the gilded awesome Cheryl looking forward to it thanks all for a great stream and that includes you Subu please come back next time <laughs> Cheryl, such a nice <laughs> awesome gang if you want to know what this is about I am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho I am also on subscribe star and substack for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon wherever it might be including twitch thank you very much for the support gang thank you for being here thank you for the discussion thank you for sharing information salute to you and Julian Assange and everybody who fights against tyranny
have a good one. Salut, Chicho. Salut, Master. We do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Minds, BK Gap, Part of Getter, and BitCloud, and we'll see what other platforms we go to. We do upload audios to soundcloud.com forward slash Chicho, where we don't have any visuals as podcasts, and those podcasts should be available in your favorite podcasting platforms, including Spotify, iTunes, and Google Play. We will be uploading this live stream to SensorTube, to BitChute, to Rumble, and to Odyssey. And we do have a gilded server if you want to participate in these discussions. Please join us on gilded. You're welcome to share information, participate in discussions, okay, and talk about whatever is on your mind. Aside from that, gang, thank you for being here. Mods, thank you for taking care of business. Really appreciate the support that we have. And I thank you very much for being here. And if you're around tomorrow from 12 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. PST, my time, West Coast, Canada, United States, we're going to do some comic book readings. Okay. Aside from that, I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic Sunday. And I hope you're going to do some gardening. Bye, everyone. <laughs>